Hi there, I'm Sean Delman. In this video, I'll be reviewing this MSI Modern MD241PW monitor. Stay tuned and I'll unbox it, show you how to set it up, and walk you through its important features. I'll also tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and what people are saying about it online. At the end, I'll tell you how you can download my guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist, simple setup guide, and answers to frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you end up buying an MSI Modern MD241PW monitor, please support my channel by using my Amazon affiliate link so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. Okay, so looking at the outside of the box for a moment, we see that it has some of the technology listed on it. It says that it's got an IPS wide angle uh, technology or, or capabilities. It's got anti-flicker technology. It emits less blue light. Uh, they've actually shown it here. There's the RGB, the red, the green, and the blue. Less blue light. It comes with uh, capabilities to connect with a Type-C connector, which is the new USB uh, type of connector. And it also comes with built-in speakers, which is great to know. A lot of people are looking for monitors that have speakers already, and this monitor does have speakers. Okay, so now I'm going to lay the box flat and pull out the monitor with the styrofoam piece. All right, so as you see, the styrofoam piece comes out with the monitor. That's everything in the box. There's no additional little box or cables or anything like that. Okay, so when I open up the box and take a look at the styrofoam here, I see that we've got an AC power cable. We've got an AC power adapter. We've got a monitor arm for the stand. We've got the base plate for the stand. We've got an HDMI cable, and we've got a bag with some booklets in it. And once I remove all of these pieces, I'm going to pull up on the styrofoam and reveal the monitor inside. So when I open it up, I'm going to see some warnings here. So note that this monitor is fragile. I shouldn't be pushing down on it. If I'm going to use a screwdriver on it, I should actually do it while it's in the styrofoam uh, container so that it has more shock absorption. And if I'm going to lift the monitor, I should be lifting from the bottom with two hands. I should not be lifting on the sides. Okay, so aside from the monitor itself, this is everything that comes in the box. We've got this bag with some uh, instructions in it. Uh, we've got some screws. We've got a clamp for the monitor stand. This is the monitor stand. This is the monitor base. This is an HDMI cable, power cable, power adapter. Okay, so let's open up these parts one by one and take a look. Okay, so this is a straightforward HDMI cable. It's five feet long. And this is a standard power cable. It's about five feet long. And this is the AC adapter, which is about four feet long. So if you connect that to the AC power cable, which is five feet long, then that means that you have about nine feet of length that you can go from your monitor to an outlet. Okay, moving on to the base unit and the monitor stand. Something that I can point out already that I'm liking is this base unit is made out of heavy metal and it also has these uh, pads for uh, making sure that the uh, stand doesn't skid or move around and they, they feel really good and I think that they would be gentle on a desktop, which is great. You don't want your monitor stand to be damaging your desk. And yeah, as you can see on the bottom, you can see the metal even more and I realize that this is a really heavy stand and it looks like it's really durable. And here is the arm for the stand. As with the base unit, I can see that this is made out of high quality metal. It is uh, heavy and thick, and I can feel that this is a metal uh, stand. So that's something that I like to see, that it's actually metal instead of just plastic. So that's a great feature. I should point out that this piece here is clearly plastic. So, you know, it's not all 100% metal, but most of it is. This part is metal. This part is metal as well. And I'll just take that little film piece off the top. Okay, so to install this arm into this base plate, I'm just going to connect the two like this. And then on the bottom, there's a screw here. I'm just gonna screw that in. And just so you can see, it has a rotation radius, which is from here to here. So it looks like about 30 degrees. Okay, now let's move on to this little bag with these instruction manuals and other parts in it. Okay, so now let's open up the monitor itself. 
Okay, yeah, so on first glance, I think it looks really good. Uh, I like how the monitor basically has a very small uh, edge around it. The, the framing area is very small. They put a sticker right here, which shows that it's a 2021 Red Dot winner. That's actually cool. They're, they're proud of that, so they're putting it right on the monitor. And here on the front, we've got references to the buttons that are here that we're gonna be able to use to control different things. One, two, three, four, five different buttons. Looking at the top of the monitor, pretty basic. We've got some venting holes uh, and that's it. So as with the front of the monitor, the back is actually really clean. You can see we've got a big open white surface. We've got the MSI logo here. This is where we're going to connect our uh, monitor stand. And then on the bottom here, this is where we can connect our various cables. So type C can go here, HDMI here, audio here, and this is for the power. And this is what the bottom of the monitor looks like. We've got a little uh, light, which is going to show us whether the monitor's on or not, I'm, I'm guessing. And then these are the buttons themselves to control the various functions. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the stand and as the manual suggested, I'm going to use the styrofoam piece that it came with. I'm going to put the monitor back in that piece while I'm installing the stand and allow a little bit more uh, ease of putting the stand on and, and go a little bit more gentle on the monitor. Okay, so now that I've got this monitor out of the box, installed on the stand, I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees to make it nice and easy for me to plug in the cables. And then I'm going to hide the cables away using the clip that's on the stand. So as you can see, this clip works really well for managing the cables once they're connected to the monitor. Okay, so as I've showed you, I really like this base. Uh, I think it's fantastic. It's nice and heavy, it's durable. It has great uh, rotation uh, distances. Uh, it goes up and down quite far. Um, I think it's a great stand, but I know that a lot of people are going to be using this monitor with a monitor mount. So I'm going to show you what you need to do if you want to use it with a monitor mount. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the styrofoam piece back. I'm going to put that on the table and then I'm going to put the monitor back in that so that I can remove the stand. So to remove the stand, I'm just going to use this little uh, tab and I'm going to push up on it and then that will release the hooks behind the monitor and then I can just pull the stand off. So as I showed you before, I've got these four screws and to install them in the monitor, I'm actually going to need to take out these other four screws first. So to do this, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and this is not something that is included with this monitor. And something important to note here, a very important point is that not all four of these are exactly the same. Two of them are taller than the other two. So these two shorter ones are going to go into these holes and the longer ones are going to go into these bottom holes. So the reason you're going to put them in the correct holes is to ensure that these holes are level so that when they connect to your plate for your monitor mount, they're going to be nice and flush and everything's going to line up. So now if you have a VESA plate or whatever you're going to use to connect the monitor, you can connect that now using the screws that we took out in the first step. Okay, so now that I've got this VESA plate on, you can see that it's very secure and very stable. This is what it looks like from the side, from the top. And as you can see, the reason that we needed these spacer screws is because there's actually kind of a depression here in the back of the monitor if you're using the monitor stand. So we need these spacers to make additional space to pull this away from the monitor so that we can get the VESA stand on here and then get this on our monitor stand. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the product itself. The MSI Modern MD241PW features a 24 inch IPS panel with a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution. It has a 75 Hertz refresh rate and a 16 9 aspect ratio. The size and speed are ideal for productivity tasks like office work, video editing and graphic design. You may notice that MSI is advertising this product as a business productivity monitor. The colors are accurate and vibrant thanks to its 16.7 million 8-bit display colors. The monitor is also quite bright, which makes it easy to use in very bright rooms. Moving on to the look, the MSI MD241PW is available in white or black and has a sleek and minimalist design. It won a Red Dot Design Award, 
which is an international prize that is given out for outstanding product design and is one of the most prestigious awards in the industry. This monitor weighs about 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms and is about 18 inches deep by 24 inches wide by 8.65 inches tall. The stand is made of metal and feels sturdy and allows for tilt, swivel, rotation, and height adjustments. The monitor also has an easy to use VESA mount, which allows it to be mounted on a wall or arm. If you'd like to see me mounted on my Huanyo and Vivo workstations, please check out my other videos. In terms of connectivity, the MD241PW has one HDMI port, a single USB-C port, and an audio jack. This makes it easy to connect it to a variety of devices, including laptops and desktops, as well as external speakers or headphones. The monitor also has a user-friendly on-screen display that allows you to adjust the settings to your liking. You can change the color settings, adjust the brightness and contrast, enable overdrive mode to reduce the appearance of ghosting or trailing in fast moving objects, enable or disable eco mode to save power, and change the speaker volume. This monitor also features anti-blue light and anti-flicker technology, which provides a stable output to help reduce issues with dry eyes and eye strain. In terms of price, I bought my MSI MD241PW for about $180. Okay, so what do I like about the MSI MD241PW? Through long-term use, I've found that there are two things that I really like about this monitor. Like number one, high quality display. As with most monitors, the most important feature is the display panel and the technology that runs it. In the case of the MD241PW, it features a large, high resolution, 24 inch IPS panel which is perfect for productivity and office tasks, including video editing and graphic design. To me, this is the main selling feature of this monitor and is the reason I bought it. Like number two, sturdy and sleek design. As I mentioned, this monitor won a design award and I can definitely see why. The monitor itself is very attractive and features a clean and streamlined design. The stand is fantastic as well and is made of durable metal. Without needing any tools, it allows for easy setup and stable ergonomic adjustments of tilt swivel, rotation, and height. And because it's a 24 inch monitor and weighs only about 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms, it's compatible with the size and weight limitations for many different mounts and arms. Okay, so what do I dislike about the MSI MD241PW? Fortunately, I've only found that there are two things that I dislike about it. Dislike number one, limited resolution and refresh rate. This monitor has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and the refresh rate is 75 Hertz but this may not be enough for some users who need higher specifications for work or gaming. Dislike number two, built-in speakers. Although this monitor comes with two built-in speakers, in my opinion, because they're so small, many users won't use them and will instead use external speakers or headphones. Although the audio quality is surprisingly good and it can be handy to have built-in speakers, I can't help but think that by not including the speakers, the monitor could have cost less or come with some other improved display technology. When it comes to online reviews, the MSI MD241PW has been reviewed hundreds of times on Amazon and other websites. According to my research, the reviews are generally positive and people typically rate it between 4 and 5 out of 5 stars. Looking at the positive reviews, most people praise the same things I've noted, including its high quality display, sturdy design, excellent color accuracy, and usefulness for office work, as well as for photography and video editing. Looking at the negative reviews, they often focus on how the resolution and refresh rate may not be high enough for gaming and specific kinds of editing work. However, I've read hundreds of online reviews and overall it seems that most buyers are happy with the MSI Modern MD241PW monitor. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything that you have questions about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my videos in which I look at other monitors, including the Samsung T35F and Samsung M70B series monitors. If you end up purchasing this product or something similar, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which will support me and my channel. So with that, there you have it. That's my review of the MSI Modern MD241PW monitor. If you'd like to download my guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist, simple setup guide, and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandelman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Delman.